Let's take a look at the difference between phosphorus, phosphide, phosphite, and phosphate. So the first thing we'll look at is phosphorus. This is the phosphorus atom. It's just P, and this is how we find it on the periodic table. It's a neutral atom. It doesn't have a negative or a positive sign after it, so it's just a neutral atom. That's the phosphorus atom found on the periodic table. Phosphide, that's the phosphorus ion. So we take a phosphorus atom, and because it's 3 minus, we've added 3 electrons. Now it's called the phosphorus ion ends in IDE and it's an ion. It has the charge here, the three minus ionic charge. So when we see ITE and ATE at the end of a name, that means it's a polyatomic ion. It'll be more than one atom bonded together. The best way to do this is just to remember phosphate. So if we remember the phosphate ion is PO4 three minus, then we can use this rule. Whenever we have something that ends in ITE, it's just one less oxygen atom than ATE. So think of ATE as greater. So for the phosphate ion here, we have our PO4 three minus, the phosphite just one less oxygen, PO3 three minus. And this rule works with other polyatomic ions like sulfate and sulfite or nitrate and nitrite. So it's really useful. Memorize the ATE, which is usually one you'll see more often. And then you know the ITE just has one less oxygen. So that's the difference between phosphorus, the phosphorus atom, the phosphide ion, the phosphite ion, and the phosphate ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.